Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to talk about the best mascaras. I have been doing this YouTube thing for a long time now and I've tried a ton of mascaras so I just want to talk about my experiences and my recommendations on mascaras. So before we get into this video, the most important thing that you need for your lashes to make sure that they look full and thick and gorgeous and natural and mess free is getting yourself a good lash primer. So my all time favorite eyelash primer is the Silk Booster XL from Lancome. This is amazing. I'm pretty sure they have samples at like Macy's and Sephora and stuff so you don't have to like spend all the money to get this. But what it is is a white like formula that dries clear and it just boosts your lashes. So I love to use this on my eyebrows. I love to use this on my bottom lashes and it just kind of like builds up those lashes and it dries clear so you can just use this as like a brow gel or you can put like a tinted brow gel or powder on top. Um, for my lashes, I've noticed that it's a huge lifesaver because it kind of acts as a barrier between your lash and your skin so that when you do go in with like a black mascara, it doesn't like hit your skin because you know when you mess up and it looks kind of messy, like we don't want any of that happening. A great drugstore version of this lash primer is the CoverGirl Lash Black primer you can get this at any drugstore and it pretty much works exactly the same way and one more thing before we get started with the mascaras um, pixie by Petra has an amazing lower lash mascara so we were just talking about bringing out those lower lashes if you really want to like work it this is a small applicator it works perfectly for your lower lashes it doesn't get in the way you're not gonna poke yourself in the eye with the bristles you can just really get that definition on your lower lashes so I really do love this stuff alright so let's get into this video my number one absolute favorite mascara of all time is the Dior Show Mascara. This stuff isn't cheap, but it is amazing. It does its job. The formula is incredible. It's super buildable. It's super black, super dark, and it just volumizes your eyes. So if you want your lashes to pop, I love the Dior Show Mascara. I'm always looking for volume in my lashes, and Lancome has like a mascara for everything that you need, whether you want length, volume, both, which is what I want, um, they have it. So this is my favorite one. This is the Monster Big Mascara. This really does do both for me. It gives me the length that I want, super buildable once again, and it gives me a ton of volume. So I love the Monster Big Mascara, and they also have a waterproof version now. And you can see, like with the applicator, like it's super dense, and all it does is just build length and volume. And of course, the color is super dark, super black. It really just makes your lashes pop. Okay, so number three on my list is a new mascara. This is the Revlon Volumazing Mascara. So this applicator is kind of like a hybrid between the Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced and the Voluminous from L'Oreal. Um, I really do like it. It really brings the best of both worlds. It does build a lot of volume and once again it's pigmented because the color of the mascara and how black it is does also make a big difference. So speaking of Better Than Sex, this is actually number four on my list. I really do love this mascara. All I have right now is a sample size. I used to use this religiously. It was like all I would ever use. Um, I'm sure you've seen it on my channel, but the applicator is incredible. It's like curved all around so you really get the inner and outer corners of your eyes. It just like gets into those hard to reach places without you even having to try. So I really like that about this applicator. And then number five on my list is the L'Oreal Voluminous. This is the Carbon Black. I only use the Carbon Black because once again, the color is important. It has to be rich. It has to be super black. And for the price, I think that what you're getting is incredible. So here's a look at the applicator. I think the keyword for this one is buildable because you do have to work on it for a while but um, once you do have the patience to build up that lash it is an incredible mascara one mascara that I thought was a total flop and did not work for me at all is the Charlotte Tilbury full fat lashes it said that it's gonna give you curl separation length and drama but I realized it really didn't do much of any of that I know that they meant well with it but it has these things sticking out of the applicator where it kind of just like pokes me in the eye. So every time I swipe my lashes, it pokes me in the eye, it hurts, it kind of irritates my eyes, and I just realized that the formula is not that great, the color is not that pigmented, and this is a really, really pricey product, so I do not recommend this one. And another mascara that didn't work for me is the Live Volume de Chanel. I really, really wanted to like this because it is an incredible mascara. It really works, like I would say, almost as well as the Dior Show mascara but I'm allergic to it, so I wore this a lot and it really like applied nicely. It made my lashes like pop. I really loved it. I actually went through two samples before I decided to like take the plunge and buy the full size. And every time I wore this, 
I would get like really bad like eye irritation, my eyes would burn, they would water and I had no idea what it was until I stopped using this and I realized it wasn't my allergies, it wasn't pollution, it was just this mascara. So unfortunately I can't use this mascara but it is a great one. So if you're not allergic to this then I think this is a great mascara but just be careful because I think it does kind of like flake off every once in a while so once it dries out if you build too much it will kind of like break and you'll get those little dark spots under your eyes so those are my current top favorite mascaras i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful and i hope you guys get to try out these mascaras so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video